I'm inside and I saw the Twilight Zone episode 27, The Big Call Wish. It is directed by Rod Winston, written by Rod Serling, and if you haven't seen this episode, I will spoil it for you. This episode starts and we're following Bully Jackson and he's hanging out with Henry. Henry's like a young little boy. And the first thing that I notice is that these two actors, these, these two main actors are black, which is fine by me because I live in 2024 and I'm used to that by now. But I remember this was in 1960 and the Civil Rights Act wasn't signed until 1963. So this is huge. I'm looking at this, I'm like, whoa, this is massive for the time. So immediately I'm like, all right, I'm hyped. I like, I like change, I like change for the better. So we have these guys, Bully Jackson is a prize fighter. He's kind of washed up, he's past his prime and he's talking to Henry and Henry's like, you're gonna win the fight tomorrow, right? Bully Jackson's like, I don't know, you know? I don't know, we'll see. I like Henry, he's like, I'm gonna make sure that you get a big tall wish. I'm going to have a big tall wish for you. I'm going to wish you tallly that you win, right? And he's like, aha, okay, cool, amazing. I like the mom, the mom of Henry. She's like, yeah, you guys are having a fun time. You guys are friends. I mean, you're the neighbor of this little boy, Bully Jackson, and I want you to be talking to him because I don't know where the father is in Henry's life because he's not at all mentioned in this episode. It's just the mother and then we also have Bully Jackson. So I think there's probably some sort of father figure for Henry, but also like some sort of friend. And also, also, they talk to each other like they're just like adults. It's kind of fun i like how the kid talks he's talking all mature and he's like i'm an adult i can i can say things in full uh full complete complex thoughts and sentences and ideas and structures and i'm like man that's uh that's good for a little boy wow that little boy is speaking like an adult i was not expecting that and so we have bully jackson it's the night of the fight and he gets into an argument behind the scenes uh, before he's supposed to fight and he like breaks his knuckles after punching the wall. I'm like, why would you punch the wall, dude? But he's like, he did it. He punched the wall and he has to go on to fight right after punching the wall and breaking his knuckles. So he's like not using his right at all and he's getting his butt whooped. His butt gets whooped and I like this. He gets knocked down. The guy's counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then in between nine and ten, he's just now standing up. This is weird. Unless you consider the fact that Henry is giving him a big tall wish. I like, I really like this part. We have him being counted out, and we have Henry giving him a big tall wish from the TV, and it actually works. He's. A victor, everyone's cheering him on, he's all confused, he remembers that he was on the floor, he just doesn't know why, that he's now standing, and he's all confused, everyone's cheering for him when he leaves the place, and he's like, what's happening here? He goes to Henry, Henry, I won! Do you know anything, by chance, why I won? Well, I gave you a big, tall wish, and you won! And... What's interesting about Bully Jackson is he just keeps on insisting that he did not win and he'll, he did not win. He's like, Henry, there's no such thing as wishes. There's no such thing as wishes. Henry's like, you have to believe in wishes in order for them to be true. If you don't believe in wishes, you don't believe in the magic behind the wishes, then they won't come true. And you, you just have to believe. You have to believe. And then Bully's like, no, I can't believe. I'm not going to believe. And because of this, he gets transported back to on the floor. He loses. Nobody congratulates him on the walk back. He goes to see Henry, and Henry's like, Man, I did wish for you to win, but I made a wish and it didn't come true, so now I'm over wishes. And I, I was just so sad hearing this revelation. I'm like, dang it! Oh no! 
bully Jackson just took away this little boy's desire to have wishes come true because they do. He's lost his superpower because he stopped believing. But I do like Bully Jackson at the end. He's like, you know, if you believe, it will be true. It will come true, this magic. The wish magic. It's just a shame that not everybody believes. Not enough people believe, you know. And then that's how the episode ends. So this is a little bit tragic for me. I, f I feel really bad for Bully Jackson. On the one hand, it's his decision to lose. But on the other hand... He had to question his win too much. He had to. He didn't believe it. And because of that, it didn't come true in the end, ultimately. Which is a little bit sad. Oh boy, this is a cool one. At the very beginning, I was like, oh boy, what type of episode is this going to be? Because it's establishing with a lot of shots of the, the sign of the fight that's upcoming. And I'm like, okay, cool. And then... We're uh, having these two fellows hanging out, and I was like, okay, maybe they're related. They're not. And I was like, this is weird, but, you know, they're neighbors, so it's less weird. I, I understand. And, you know, it's a good one, this episode is. I like this episode a lot. I gotta give this episode... This episode, because it makes me feel so bad at the end, I'm gonna have to give it a solid, like, 8.2 out of 10. If you like this review, watch another one. The platform really likes that. If you want a fast track boot review, you can do that for $20 redeems at patreon.com slash Presents. And if you'd like to help support the daily grindiness of all them daily movie reviews, go to this link tree. By the way, you can help support the daily grind of all them daily movie reviews, so you can go here. And until next time, I'm in Saw. I'll see you later to my sour croutons and bacon bits. I'm gonna fight my way out of here.